Hey everyone, it's time for Q&A with Dr. K. All right, let's get started. Question of the day, uh, is pleasuring oneself acceptable when practicing celibacy until marriage? What is acceptable? <laughs> wow. All right, well, that one had some heat on it. Great question. Thank you for writing in and asking the question. Well, the short answer is no, it is not acceptable. Uh, it is absolutely not acceptable because celibacy is the practice, it be defined as the practice of abstaining from sexual activity. If we are pleasuring ourselves, then we are actually participating in sexual activity. Secondly, it is almost impossible to pleasure oneself or masturbate without thinking through your imagination, without thinking of, uh, of another person, either a past event, uh, a hopeful future event, or just, just outright using your imagination uh, to fantasize about some superstar, say The Rock or Beyonce, for example. And I don't know how those people will feel about you imagining being with them, but I do know that uh, those things can be extremely unhealthy. Thirdly, the other thing that happens is we have to understand that uh, long-term masturbation or stimulating oneself uh, uh, can be extremely, extremely extremely detrimental to future relationships. As an individual now gets used to uh, some uh, rhythm or uh, uh, hand movement that they have perfected uh, through uh, uh, masturbation and self-pleasuring themselves, all of a sudden now they become insensitive to the touch of another human being. And so now that you, if you can imagine, now that I've waited all this time, I finally get married, I get with my spouse, and uh, the event is anticlimactic because it doesn't feel like uh, the motion or the the, uh, the hand movement that you perfected, or it doesn't feel like uh, the sexual toy or tool that you used in order to stimulate yourself in the future. Well, let's make it plain. Even though the Bible does not speak directly to this issue about masturbation or self-pleasing oneself, we do understand that we can look at a situation and determine whether or not that situation is going to glorify God. If it's not glorifying God, if it's not advancing the kingdom, if it is not healthy for me, then why would I want to pursue that or why should I continue to do that? When we look at this activity, we can see that there is fruit, as it were, or a harvest that will be detrimental to my future relationships. Why would I want to engage in these things that could potentially harm my future intimacy with my spouse? Even though the world might say that uh, it's okay, it's like loving oneself or pleasing oneself, there are negative aspects to self-pleasure, negative aspects to masturbation uh, that uh, could potentially uh, impact our relationship, future relationships in a very adverse way. So what is acceptable is, is that we need to look at the, uh, first of all, take a look at our uh, relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, this is the key, because if we practice masturbation, what we are saying is that, God, what you are giving me is not enough. You are not enough for self-control. What we want to do is practice and exercise self-control. At the end of the day, this is just like any other temptation. It is a temptation that we are saying, we just can't wait. The devil will sit there and tell you, you can't wait. You need to go ahead and take care of this now. You're not strong enough to make it through. Well, we're if we practice that and we keep saying that we can't, we're really saying, you know, God, you're not strong enough to help me. Uh, you're not close enough to help me. You don't have the right wisdom to help me. God can strengthen you. He does have the ability to help you through uh, that uh, situation and get through that moment. This is just like any other temptation. Rise above it. Amen. Focus on God. Fill your heart and your mind with the word of God and the thoughts of God. That way you don't get preoccupied with focusing on how you're feeling or focusing on uh, this incredible uh, desire that seems to keep overtaking your flesh. All right. Uh, with that being said, I, uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very, very much uh, for watching. Please like and share this video and we look forward to being with you again real soon.